Hey, my name's Nick. I'm with Sunshine State RVs in sunny Gainesville, Florida. We are the number one Class B dealer in the state of Florida and number three in the whole United States right here in Gainesville, Florida. So today, I'm really excited. We just got this in. This is a 2023 Winnebago Travato K. And guess what? It has the brand new upgraded Dodge ProMaster Ram chassis with all the new stuff that Ram ProMaster has to offer. I can't wait to show you everything about it. You're gonna love all the new safety features, all the new luxury features, all the new convenience features, everything that Dodge has to offer teamed up with the Winnebago Travato 59K, most popular Class B RV on the planet. So in this walkthrough, we're gonna go through everything on the ProMaster and the Travato, and I think you're gonna love it. So before we jump inside the Travado and I tell you all about the new ProMaster safety features, luxuries, conveniences, everything that they offer, I really want to highlight something that's one of my favorite things about these Travados. And it, it is a really cool option. You will not see one single Travado at our lot that I order without this option on it. These are the awning style windows. So these are nice dual pane acrylic windows. They're not glass, they are acrylic. I think that's like some kind of plastic. They're very light, double insulated, and they open all the way up. So it's nice when you wanna pass things through. It's nice if you wanna have a conversation with somebody inside, or if you just want to let a lot of air flow in. So it's on this side and it's on the other side. So you have what they call cross ventilation. If you do want a screen, all you have to do is just open that screen right there and it keeps the bugs out and doesn't keep the cold air in, just the bugs out. Um, the one that does give you a little bit of privacy is this one here. So this, you, you'll probably have this up when you have the window closed. So there are like five of these awning windows all the way around the coach, which I think they are amazing. Absolutely love them. Um, another, you know, something pretty cool about the outside of it is this big step. It goes from front to back. Um, everything Winnebago does, it's kind of like where's Waldo, where's the W, right? So they have a bunch of little W's on this step. Um, I recently was at their dealer meeting last month and everywhere you looked, you saw that same W everywhere. And it's pretty cool. They hand out this award every year called the Flying W Award. We are one of the only dealers in Florida that got the Flying W or is getting the Flying W Award this year. It's, you know, for good sales, good service, good everything but you know real proud that we are one of their flying w dealers but as we uh keep looking around the outside of the coach another awning style window so it's nice you can you can crack them or you can leave it open all the way whatever you like there it is so you can go back and forth depending on what you want so there is a true awning as well not just awning style windows this is a power awning that has a big led light strip on it um, I have four kids and so we would take them to Disney all the time and go camping. And one thing that, that my wife loved to do, God bless her, was take Christmas lights and hang Christmas lights from the awning. This is before there was these fancy LED strips. And it would look a little um, like National Lampoon's Christmas vacation type, but she didn't care. That was like her favorite thing. She would hang Christmas lights from the awning. And now I say, baby, there's no reason to do that anymore. There's LED lights and she doesn't care. She still does it. But there are nice LED lights there. So there is a plug here. There's a cable plug. There's a 12 volt plug. There's a couple 110 plugs. And pretty neat, there's a solar um, extension thing. So you can have a whole solar field here and you can plug that into here and pump some more juice 
into your batteries. We're going to talk more about the electrical system in a minute. Uh, once we get inside, we'll go through all that. It's a little warm outside, so I'm just covering the stuff that's outside first. Um, bike rack. For those of you that, that are buying these for adventuring, um, not just for getting from one place to another, this does have a nice bike rack. You can fit two bikes on here. Um, it is pretty, pretty nice and easy to use. So there's two little locks right here. You open them up and then you move this and then move that and then you get the bike rack. There's lots of cool ways to do it. I'll show you guys later. Um, it's locked right now for safety reasons. Um, and then there is a ladder as well. Get you up to the top. You can service the solar panels. You can clean your roof, check all your caulk, all that good stuff. Um, and, and these do have a tow hitch. So this tow hitch, you can tow about 3,500 pounds. So to most people, that's like a little Honda car. Could be a trailer with like an ATV in it. Dirt bikes could be. Um, some people put a little box right here and they put stuff in that box. So, you know, a class BRV, depending on how you're going to use it, you're going to have lots of different variations of what you're going to want to use a tow hitch for. They are great to have. Absolutely great the location of it because you can have the bike rack down and towing something all at the same time so as we're walking around i'm going to show you the rest of the outside so trust me i'm dying to show you the inside because it is sweating it is hot out here but there's so much cool stuff on the outside so more of these really nice awning windows here's a small one there's another big one they all have the screens just like the ones on the other side and this is the one that gives you that cross ventilation the breeze from both sides um, as we are still walking this is where you would dump so this is your um, where where you hold the hose this is where you fill the propane all that good stuff well actually you dump back there but your hose is right there so you grab it you hook your hose up um, lots of lots of cool little things here but this is where you fill the propane and this is where you plug in your 30 amp plug um, you know it's lit you know it's on when when the light the lights up um, but yeah, it comes with a 30 amp plug. So you plug that into a campground. Um, you can run your generator, run on the lithium, or you use a 30 amp plug. Lots of different options that I'll, that I'll cover as we walk inside the coach. And there again, where's Waldo? I found them. W's all over the steps. So nice big steps everywhere you look. You're not having to wait for them to retract and go in and out. They are always there. So now finally, I get to go turn the air conditioner on and get inside this RV to show you all the cool stuff that this new Travato has. All right, so we are inside of this 2023 Travato 59K. This is the number one selling class B floor plan and RV in the country. They sell more of these Travato Ks than any other specific RV in the country sells. And you can see why. This thing feels very wide open, very nice. This is the front side here. We're sitting in the driver and passenger seat. Right now, they're both swiveled around. You have a table here. You have a lagoon table here. This thing can move and swivel and do all kinds of cool things. This is a table here that can also move and be hidden back here. So very cool area up here for if you're working if you're eating if you're just hanging out just kind of relaxing this is a very cool area up here both these seats do swivel so they are very nice the biggest thing that we're going to be talking about today is the 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 new chassis upgrades for the 2022 chassis so it's a 2023 Travato with a brand new upgraded 2022 Ram ProMaster chassis. So some of the biggest upgrades are gonna be, for, it goes from a six speed transmission to a nine speed transmission. You say, Nick, what the heck do I care about a transmission? Well, let me tell you why. Better gas mileage, smoother ride, better a better technology all around, just, just a, better, a better vehicle having that nine speed transmission. Um, the other cool thing is there's an electronic parking brake now and electronic power steering. So very nice upgrades on the ProMaster. That's that's the, the engine part of it. The biggest upgrade you're gonna find is in the convenience, in the luxury, in the safety. So the thing that I love, and I always said, every car that I'm ever gonna own in my life is gonna have keyless entry. I'm not owning another car where I gotta take a key, stick it in, and turn it. Cause I lose the keys, I can't find them. I like keeping it in my pocket. So this is, ProMaster's first time doing this. This is their push button start. So you can keep this in your pocket, in your purse, keep it in the car somewhere. Then you come in, you push a button and it starts. You turn it off, just like your car you drive at home. 
Also walking up to the RV, you press a button, the, your door unlocks. You press it twice, all the doors unlock. And this can be in your purse the entire time. So very great. There is also a new blind spot and crosswind detection. There's park sense, which is like a parking sensors in the front and in the back. Um, this one has the 10 inch full color screen. So right now you are seeing it has XM satellite radio. Uh, Frank Sinatra was on a second ago. Um, right now it's Matt Monroe. I don't know who that is. I'm sure he's great, but this is a 10 inch screen. So this has lots of cool features as your GPS. And also you can control some of your comfort features. You can do all you can do. You can do full GPS screen if you want. So lots of cool things you can do on this. You can also do Apple CarPlay and Android CarPlay on here. The other cool thing is you can control different things from your van. So you can see your trip, how far you've gone, your gas mileage, all that. You can also download some apps on here. So I know people like Waze, there's Alexa, all kinds, I guess you go this way, all kinds of cool things, weather apps, all kinds of cool things that you can download and use this 10 inch screen for. So this is a huge upgrade. Another upgrade, so as we're looking right here, this is a cell phone charger. So you stick your phone in here, just like this, you stick it there, and now that's a charger. And then when you take, and it's also, it's a nice hands-free thing, you don't have to hold your phone to see it. So that can that is a wireless charging pad right there. You can put your phone in there, very cool. Um, the other pretty cool thing, the whole dash is all digital, we'll show you some pictures of that in a second. Um, and this rear view mirror is also a digital rear view mirror. So, so it can be digital or it can be a regular rear view mirror, depending on how you want to use it. So lots of cool features, lots of cool functions, push button start, post collision braking, post collision. So after you collide, oh, after you hit something, you, you don't keep going through it, it stops. So it's post collision braking. Hopefully you never have to use that. Um, Warning plus, pedestrian automatic emergency braking, full speed forward collision warning, wireless charging pad, traf traffic sign assist, passive entry, rain sensing wipers, um, upgraded air vents, upgraded center stack switches, which is all the stuff in the middle here, and a seven inch full color cluster. All of that information should be on your screen right now for you to review. Pause it, feel free to look at it and read it. But Lots, lots of cool upgrades for this ProMaster chassis. So, funny story, Mercedes upgraded their chassis in 19, Ford upgraded theirs in like 2021, now Dodge is getting around to upgrading theirs. So, now all three of the chassis are going to have, and that's those are the main three chassis that RVs are built on, they all have their upgraded features now. So, enough of the chassis, everyone came here to see the Travato. So, 59K rear bath, twin beds. Let me got, get spun around and I will show you the rest of this coach. Okay, so now we are standing up in the back of this Winnebago 2023 Winnebago Travato 59K. This is the first one we've gotten in. When I got it in, I ran right out. I wanted to see all the new upgrades, all the new cool things. I gotta tell you, it blew me away. From the chassis, to the coach, to just the feel of it. I just absolutely love the feel of these wide open rear bath RVs. Um, so pretty cool here, this is a kitchen area. Nice and wide open. I love the fact that there's an awning style window in the kitchen. So as you're here preparing food, everything can, all the, all the smoke or the, the smells, the exhaust can go right out. So, so you can be cooking here on your two, two burner stove and then everything can be going out. This is pretty neat. I love these little towers. They got two 110 plugs and two USB ports. So you can put anything you want here and have it be charging or using an Instapot, a Keurig coffee maker. Um, a pizza maker. My wife bought me a Ninja smooth ice cream maker. 
So it's a ninja, you put fruit in it, you freeze it, and you put it in there and it makes ice cream. I was like, yeah, that'd be cool to take camping. Make your own ice cream on the road. I love ice cream. So that can go down, that can stay up, whatever you want, it's all right there. So pretty neat here. This is privacy for nighttime. This is during the daytime. So those big old mosquitoes I always talk about do not come and invade your RV, the invasion of the Florida mosquitoes. We do not want that. So something else pretty cool. I always mention these Ram tracks. Winnebago does a great job of trying to think of every way that somebody can use their van. So I was just recently at their, their big dealer meeting. It's a national meeting they invite all their dealers to. And they showed us every which way you can use one of these Winnebago's for, for the beach, for camping, for the mountains, for the snow, for inner cities, for to be on the streets of San Francisco or to be up in New York or to be in Canada, Lake Eloise, Lake Louise, to be in Banff, to be Key West, wherever you want to go, the, there's there's some way that you can use these and take them. So pretty cool. These Ram tracks, you can take them on, you can put them on, take them off, whatever it is you want to do with them. I won't try to mess with it right now, but I just took it off. You can put it on there. You can fill it with spices. You can put something different. Um, there's a lot of different attachments you can put on there. I saw a guy have, have a, a GoPro attached to one of these and as he was doing something, it was filming him and it was attached to the Ram track. So pretty cool there. Um, nice convection microwave in a small RV. You don't always get the convection microwave. So real nice to have that. Um, this is a small fridge. It is right there. So you have a fridge and a freezer, nice size. Something pretty cool about their drawers. They don't just open. You have to actually lift it up and then it opens. So I really like how that happens. So when you're driving, they're not just sliding open when you fill them with stuff. Same thing here. These don't just open uh, because of weight, they're locked, and then you just kind of open it like that. So that was a cool improvement they did last year. So there is a sink if you want to use it. If you don't want to use it, you keep it covered and you do this. I like making ham and cheese sandwiches, so I would just make sandwiches here. I would never need to cook or use a sink. Um, I can get by on Coffee, eggs, and ham and cheese, some cinnamon toast crunch, and Ben and Jerry's. If you ask my wife, when she's out of town, that is what we eat as a family. Ham and cheese, egg sandwiches, Ben and Jerry's, some coffee, and I can camp for a week with those staple items. Um, and I think most people could too. So, pretty cool lagoon table. I always say I wish I would have bought stock in lagoon. This thing is in the way, it's out of the way. We used it up front a second ago, um, but right now it's in the back. So if you just want to sit and chill, if you want to have this, you can watch TV right here. You can be typing on your laptop. You can dual monitor if you're working from here. You can have your laptop here. You can dual monitor from there. This thing does swivel. You just kind of pull it down. You swivel it. You go back and forth. There's a JBL Bluetooth sound bar that's hooked up to it as well. So if you want to chill, listen to some music, you can do that. If you want to open your sliding door, swivel this around, you can watch TV outside. They really do think everything. So this is pretty cool. This cabinet's actually open right now. Um, so as, as we are walking through, I always look at the W's as where's Waldo. There's always W's everywhere you look. So these are all of your components, your, your uh, inverter, your one place that kind of starts and stops your generator. So this is a generator model. Um, this does have the Truma Combi system. So that's your hot water and your furnace. It has the inverter, has tank heaters, um, so one cool thing, um, last year, Onan started making a ultra quiet 2800 generator. So that is the quietest generator on the market. It's so quiet that it is national park approved. So you are allowed to use that generator all night long in the national park. So pretty impressive. In the past, generators were these really, really crazy loud lawn mowers that people had on the back of their RV. But now they are so quiet that you can barely hear that the national park said, you know what? You guys can use these all night. They are not disruptive. So pretty cool feature there. Uh, they do make this with a lithium model that's called a KL. This is the K, um, you know, lithium model has all the solar panels, has the whole Volta lithium system, has the underhood generator, lots of cool features. But this one is the generator model. That's why they've been making these class B's for the last 40 years. And there's nothing wrong with it. Everybody needs something different. So as we are walking through here, um, you see there are two twin beds. So nice big walkway. I always say I'm six foot tall, 236 pounds. 
I can move, I can jump, I can do whatever I need to do in here. Um, lots of space, wide open. We just had somebody trade in another Class B they bought six months ago from us because it was really tight and they traded in for, for this one. This is actually theirs. They are buying this exact RV on Friday and they traded in for this one because it was wide open inside. They wanted something that had twin beds and was wide open. They walked in this and fell in love with it. So pretty cool. Um, something else is pretty cool that I'm going to talk about. This is not from Winnebago. This is something that we've installed. This is a 5G uh, Pep Wave, Pep Link um, cell phone internet router. So this is hooked on 5G cell phone service. You put a SIM card in here and you have 5G internet everywhere you are. You have up to 60 devices on it. You can get up to 500 megabytes download speed. So really, really quick and fast internet. If you want, you can just take it out at Velcro's. You can take it, you can take it with you in your house. You can take it to your boat. So pretty cool thing. I'm gonna do a video on that here soon. Little antenna on top and here. And that is something that we offer on any RV we sell is this 5G internet router. It's pretty awesome. I have one of that I carry around and I use it all the time. Absolutely love it. So as we're walking through, you see the twin beds. People really like the twin beds. Something that Winnebago does is this Frioli Zoomy system. Um, something else pretty cool. These twin beds do turn into a king size bed. So really quick and easy, slide it out, drop the cushions, and guess what? In a matter of a second, you have a king size bed. So nice big bed, and then one second later, when you're done, you put this there, put that there, slide that in, and you don't have it anymore. So this has to be the easiest twin bed to king bed model that I've seen. I don't know why everyone doesn't copy it. I think they might, but this is great. This is great walkway. If you need to store things, if you want to slide in skis or canoe, uh, stand up paddle board, but if you want to sleep, you can leave all that stuff underneath you, move the bed and make it a king size bed. So like I always say, lots of options, lots of, lots of flexibility. This is something else pretty cool that Winnebago does. You can put stuff in here. Um, and then you can just lift it up so that way it's out of the way, cell phones and all that. There are charging ports on top here as well. So both sides have it to where you can have phones up here, anything you need, charging ports, reading lights, charging ports there, lots of windows, lots of these cabinets everywhere. This is your solar charging system. Um, lots of cool cabinets everywhere. Now, this is the rear bath model. One advantage to the rear bath model is the bathroom is bigger. It is bigger than like a side bath model um, it is in the rear. So as we walk in here, you can see the size of it. Um, I fit in here very well. I don't feel very constrained. I am sweating because we're in Florida and it's hot and humid. Um, so what you have, you have a hot and cold shower right here. You have a drain on the floor. This door does slide shut and so does that one for privacy in the bathroom or the shower. Um, there is a nice big huge drawer in here, which is huge and nice. There's a nice big cabinet here. There is an exhaust fan as well. Um, as you do look around, you notice big guys have space to sit. They have space to, to do things, things back here that some other bathrooms don't give you the space for. Um, you know, something I always talk about are these, these screens. I really like it when you don't have to store things. So like, you don't have a screen you have to store somewhere. I like that it's built in. You zip it, you unzip it when you want it open, and then you zip it when you want it done. And this absorbs a lot of heat as well. So this really does a good job of keeping the heat. So nice big bathroom. This is the K model, the rear bath. So pretty, pretty cool floor plan. Um, I think Winnebago does a great job of outfitting these. Very luxurious, very nice. Um, great air conditioner, great insulation. Winnebago is a great company that, that really thinks of everything uh, when, it, when it comes to the Class B lifestyle. So at Sunshine State RVs, we are a Flying W dealer, which is pretty, pretty, pretty proud for us that we are such a small dealership and we get that recognition because of our sales, because of our service, because of our follow-up and everything that we do for them. There are about 20 Winnebago dealers in Florida. And as of right now, we are, for next year, going to be one of the only Flying W dealers, potentially the only one. 
the, high, the, the executives at Winnebago were at our dealership yesterday, and we were talking through that, and, and they're really happy that we definitely are getting it. And there's a couple of dealerships that might get it, but as of right now, we are the only one that's going to be a Flying W dealer in the state of Florida. So pretty cool that a little dealership in the middle of Gainesville um, is the number one in Florida and probably the only Flying W dealer in the country. So pretty neat. Uh, we do deliver these free anywhere in the country. Winnebago's, any Class B that we sell, that is all we do are Class B RVs. We know them inside and out. We want to be able to help you find the right Class B for you. So check out our website, our YouTube channel, our social media. We have all things Class B all the time. So thank you very much for watching this. We would love to help you any way we can. SunshineStateRVs.com. Thanks again.